Hello, and welcome to Bits, Bytes, and Barrels 101. Uh, my name is Jeffrey Can, and I'm your resident instructor and expert on the impacts of digital technology on the oil and gas industry. This course is designed to help you, the oil and gas industry professional, the digital professional, the supplier, or the regulator, or the financier, prepare for the coming disruption to the oil and gas industry caused by digital innovations. The most important concern for upstream companies is tackling the performance of the most important asset, which is the subsurface reservoir. It's usually the biggest asset on the balance sheet. It requires an enormous amount of capital. The capital is generally at risk until the asset starts producing. And there is value at risk should the basin become abandoned or not produced to the target that the owners are expecting. Before Uber, if you wanted to call a taxi to pick you up and take you somewhere, you needed to phone a call center, and the taxi operator would note down the address of where you are located. They might ask where you're headed, and then they would say a taxi will arrive eventually. Now, with car hailing services like Uber and Lyft, you use your smartphone to enter the address of your destination. Your phone already knows where you are. GPS in the phone takes care of that. And all of that data is communi direct, communicated directly to the rideshare vehicle, who then shows up to collect you and take you on your way. What if the delivery of wells in the tight oil sands basins and shale plays were run not so much like projects, but were run like manufacturing operations? Some of the companies exploring or experimenting with technologies to let, that let them run like manufacturing have seen dramatic productivity gains. By behaving less like a traditional oil company, where every well is unique, to behaving like Toyota, where every well is the same. The day is not too far away when an oil and gas field will be managed entirely by a set of robots and an artificial intelligence engine to drive the robotic control over the field. Today, that's largely a human endeavor. 